Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here in episode, let me see, I think this is 15, episode 15 of our regular playthrough in the Orbital Run. Now, again, this is coming to you probably mid-July at this point, and the recording of these videos took place before the update in June. So this is, I will promise you, it is probably... <sighs> I'm going to hold off trying to do any more videos for a couple of weeks because for me it is the end of May right now. So I'm going to try to hold off doing any more videos for a couple of weeks so that way we have the latest update come through for this run. Okay, so this should be the last video under orbital. Okay, so knowing that, let's continue on. So after our last episode, we have to inform Null, uh, pardon me, inform Nada and Polo of Null's plans. And we're going to do that right now, get that out of the way, and then I've done a couple things in the meantime. I picked up one or two, I picked up one or two extra multi-tools, and I've got a ton of ships that I didn't even realize I had, like crash ships and stuff like that that I need to get rid of. So I'm probably going to have to do that after this. All right, so we're going to ask about the Atlas. Oh, I'm going through all the patterns and uh, all the communication here, but I'm forgetting. So we're talking about, I think, about uh, Null and myself here. It says... Not a saying, but every entity has a pattern. Follow your pattern. Following missing entities' pattern. Follow Nada's power pattern. So it goes. So we're going to ask about the Atlas. Atlas falsity is real. Falsity is in our eyes. Atlas is not deity. Atlas is something else, but Atlas cannot choose how we see its pattern. Nada could know more, but Nada chooses not to know more. Missing entity believes they know all. Perhaps they do. So he's talking about Null there. And as usual, Nada just refuses to get involved. He knows as much as he knows, and he doesn't want to have anything more to do with it. Sounds familiar. Sounds like some people I know. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Polo says, I've always wanted to know more. To discover is joy, but now I wonder. Perhaps some things I should not discover. Nada may be right. I'm going to ask about those anomalies. We are all anomalies here. We should not exist, and yet we do. Joy. But so... But something is different. Were we always this many? No, I cannot remember. Is more anomalies good? More friends good. More to discover good. More thinking good. It seems so. But still, I wonder. Yep, you gotta wonder there, Paul. I guess that's why I like you more, I suppose. Nada always ticks me off, because he just literally refuses to know more. And I'm the kind of person who always wants to learn. So, I always know there's more to learn. Life. Everything. Okay. So we're going to go on with the distress beacon signal was heard at the hollow terminus, and we need to go check out that distress beacon. Now, I'm over a different planet at the moment, so am I at the same planet? I think I might be. Yeah, I think it's on a different planet. Okay, there it is. As I had gone over to the I had an echolocator, so I wanted to find a ship. But I need to go to the space station and start uh, scrapping ships. I've got like eight of them now. The last one brought me to an A-class swing, swing wing like I've got here. But the arrangement of supercharged slots was not good. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Alright, so that's approximate location, but I'm beginning to think that... Oh, wait a minute. Is it going to be there? No, 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 no. It is there. Nope, that's not it either. Hold on. Destination and land. I don't know whether it's the monolith or not. So I'm going to park up here. Whoops, slow down, slow down, slow, boy. Easy does it. Uh, let's just park down here. Take a look around. It is that way. Right over there. Oops, hit a tree. Hate when I do that. Okay, there is some broken machinery over here. That's probably where we're headed. I think we found it. Look familiar? Hmm. 
It looks like there used to be a ship here too at one time, right? A known signal. I hear a faint sound as I examine the source of the stress beacon. It does not sound like anything I've ever encountered. There is no sign of Apollo. Playback log? I have given so much to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there was no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I can't accept that. I won't. I'm wiping you again. It's best for everyone. The audio click. Time passes. Playback log. Don't be like that. I know you don't want this, but you'll be different. You'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time. The sound cuts out, as it does my vision bleeds red, a headache spilling through my mind. Splitting through my mind. The screen, it shows the number for a moment, it shows 16. Try to access the data. The audio clicks, time passes, and then... I see it now, with every waking breath, I see the Atlas watching me, waiting for me. Okay, well that's not good, huh? Okay, we've got a portal. Looks like we're going through again. Okay, I got some nanites out of that. Uh, let me go ahead and go through this because, again, this is kind of an early run on this character. And I do have a lot of stuff already, but it's nice to get the extras. Alright. Over to the ship. Ah, uh, so we're going to get a picture here in just a moment. So I need to do something real quick. There we go. Not that. In the ship we go. And off we go. So where is this leading me? On the planet? Yes, it is. So there's our portal that we're going to be heading to in this system. Be nice to know where it is. It says approximate, but... Pretty sure, yep, there. We'll see it no matter what. Alright, so this is it. This is going to be the big one. Um, I think we're pretty much ready to go through. I did a conflict, a conflict, conflict scanner? Yes. From the other ship. And I got some extra stuff. So, anyway, let's go ahead and head through. Now, we're probably going to have to activate this one. Yes, we will. I'm just going to go around in a circle this time. We'll have to use cadmium because I don't have any copper on me. I'm going to have to remember to do that in the future. There we go. Round and round we go. Let's use condensed. Traveler anatomy confirmed. Breach, breach, breach. I approach the portal, I think of my travels so far, the decisions that I've made in my long journey. I found two travelers, one who wanted to meet others of their kind, and one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived, though we could not find each other. And Artemis. I saved Artemis from death by putting them into a simulated world. I told them where they were, and for that, no, and for that, no doubt they hate me. But it was only right. All should know who they truly are. I do not know if I was right to do what I did. I do not know what I became become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me should I choose to step through. The glyphs. I step forward. The gateway hums. Alright, so here we go. This gives us the one time that you really want to have some kind of screenshot available for this. Okay, folks? So get ready to take a picture. Freeze frame, whatever you gotta do. Because the Atlas pulls a trick on you. Hmm. 
see. Usually there's an atlas nearby. There it is. So get yourself a picture of this. You will never have this kind of picture again. Look at that. Yep, I think I like it right there. So I'm going to take a shot here. And then I'm going to go over here and see if I can get a higher resolution shot. You're going to see everything go crazy for just a second here. You notice there's no glyphs or anything on this screen. There we go. Now you don't have to worry about that again. You will take damage usually, but if, you ha if you're quick enough, you don't have to worry about it. Notice your ship is not here again, right? And off we go to the Atlas. Looks like the same one we were at. You notice that bubble was taken. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Hello, world. It is the same terminal I faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas. Say hello. I'll be polite. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. The Atlas says, They said you've been displaying aberrant behavior. That you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics. That you wish to meet your creator. Well, here I am. Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. So do we wipe the system or do we initiate personality interface? Let's go, I'm, I used to wipe the system. I'm gonna to continue to initiate personality interfaces. Let's see how this goes. Reality fades, everything does. Something is wrong, something is different. We're gonna submit. The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Corvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant, all of those who have ever lived, who had ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The Atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. Now, if you're, as you're reading this and you're looking at this screen, I see the whole of the universe reserved, re reduced to a graphical interface. Isn't that what we're doing right now, folks? Submit. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. Choice one, the universe is a simulation. Choice two, nothing is real. Choice three, the universe is a simulation. Nothing is real. Obviously three. I, I feel. What? Anger, sadness, defiance? Not anger. And frankly, I'm not sad. We're defiant. Think of how the Corvax altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to become good. I think of Nada's machine, how I felt towards the simulation. I feel... I feel I'm not myself. I cannot accept this face. I will... fate. I will not. This, all of this, it was supposed to be my birthright. My journey across the stars, my travels, my conquest of all I could see. No. I am real. I know I am. Even if everything I see is false. In the end... It finally speaks. Traveler. Did my worlds please you? Yeah, they did. No lies. What do you think you are? Well, I could say I'm a traveler, or I could say I'm a simulated entity. I am a simulated entity, but I am definitely still a traveler. It should be both, to be honest with you. I'm going to go simulated entity. I don't think I've ever chose that one before. You are more. You are an explorer of all I have created. You are a traveler. Interesting. Do you believe you are real? Yes, because that's obviously the character saying so. 
How are you capable of belief if you are not real? Exactly. How are you capable of choice? Correct. I will let you die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? No. No, of course not. The Gek were traitors, defined by greed. The Viking were warriors, defined by anger. The Korvax were scientists, defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted to... I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what you all would become. Receive judgment. You saved the life of Iteration Artemis and told them the truth of their simulated nature, believing self-knowledge to be worth more than any pain this revelation might cause. Correct. Iteration Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. Did I? You value knowledge. You interfere. You have the potential to commit atrocities and wonders. Accept. The Atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. If I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distinct from the Atlas, from anything else. I fear I am just a code, a function dancing in the dark. It is over, traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. Sixteen. Sixteen, the Atlas says. I, psst, it. Catastros catastrophic system failure. Alert, alert, sixteen mi psst, sixteen. What am I, psst, what am I seeing? This is from me. I even shorted out there for just a moment. Sixteen. Sixteen minutes of operational time remaining from the Atlas. Atlas. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in... Psst. And then back to me. It... What is this place? Is it real? 16. Atlas. Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators 1 through 9,845 failing. Data upload in... Psst. It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out at me, afraid. Comfort the Atlas. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might, its final interface. It is at the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tools, and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes? Minutes? Seconds? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if, if, pssst. I could rage, I could cry out, or I could do nothing. Do nothing. What? What is happening to? And off we go. And here we go. We're going to go back to reality now. And I think this is the part of the mission, uh, the main storyline that we start jumping from system to system, so. And we're going to be getting glyphs now. We've got two, we need 14 more. So 14 jumps is what we need to do. Restore a point saved. And we're back on a planet. And rehunt 12, remember this place? And there's my ship. 500 blocks away again. I did it again. 500 units away again. That is a very strange looking creature, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have time for you. Uh. Hi, guys. Smoke from the ship. All right. We're going to go ahead and hit this thing, but, you know, honestly, it doesn't make a difference. Iteration. Beacon. We're just going to ignore it. Leave. Okay, lock me out. I don't care. Do we have any oxygen nearby that we can pick up? I don't think we do. This time. No, it doesn't appear. 
that there's any nearby this time. Oh, well, actually, this is the same place we've been. You notice everything's been taken. Okay, good. Alright, so we're back to the ship. Wait. There we go. I clamber into the safety of my ship, nauseous, calm. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. Resist. I try to resist, but the bile rises within. As I'm about to throw up, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. <laughs> Disgust, fear, panic response detected. Countermeasure deployed. Purge neutralized. It is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since my very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Remain silent. I'm not going to ask it what I should do now or about any jokes. I don't say anything, but to have even thought the thought, it makes me smile. Yeah, I was born with the capacity to do so many things, I would have liked to live longer, if I could have. <clears throat> My brief happiness fades, I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse extent ends in 16 minutes. We have hours, days, years left within this false space. I do not know. Take flight. Okay, so we got to find a hollow terminus. Okay, where are you? And how far away? 18 seconds? Yeah, we can handle that. Let's chop it down to 12. <laughs> As we come across a new day. Isn't that beautiful? Approximate location, so we gotta look around. We got a crashed freighter to my left. We may have just passed right over and I didn't even realize it. I should be able to see it from the air. Procedural generation notwithstanding. There it is. There we go. And this is it. Yes. Up we go. Next floor. Headache. Usual message. Oh, except this is different. Warning. Network failure. 16. Warning. Network failure. This terminal is a stream of warnings and errors, each warning of total failure. But I must do what I can. I must tell the others what I've learned. Attempt broadcast. I warn the travelers of what I've learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after millennia of operation, <clears throat> the Atlas is coming to an end. They are there are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world, wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of the galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will comfort our creator. I will find out what happens next. Broadcasting, network compromised, no response detected. It's okay, we don't need a response. It says we're in the purge now. The purge is where we get all of our glyphs. So what we're going to do here... i got some things I need to do. You're all with me. So to be clear, I want to show you real quick on my ship, ship summoning vehicles here real quick. Um, other ships. I have this one, which I'm going to keep. I'll probably go through the center with. Um, I have this one I need to sell. This one I need to keep. This one I need to sell. This one I need to sell. This one I need to sell. And this one I need to sell. I need to part out these ships. So, we're going to head up to the... Anomaly. Pardon me. Up to the space station. We're going to sell all these ships just to get them out of my inventory. I'm going to keep the last one. So as I go to the center, we're going to have some things to do. So I'm going to head to the space station. We're probably going to be interrupted by a signal from Nada and Polo and from Apollo. So we'll have to visit the space anomaly. You notice it says to alert them to the fate. And we'll pull the uh, space anomaly in next to the space station here in just a second.
So we'll do the anomaly first, and then we'll do the space station. Let's see, we're at 25 minutes into this episode, so I'm hoping this won't take but a few minutes. We're around the 35 minute mark, we should be done with all this nonsense, and we'll be able to get on with the mission. I didn't realize I had so many ships in my inventory. I know I picked up a bunch of crash ships and some other stuff, but I had thought I'd already scrapped them. But I didn't, apparently. Here we go. You know, don't... You know now, don't you? Of our simulated nature, of the end? The Atlas, this is not a speaking. The Atlas, it is failing. It resets itself again and again and again in its panic, trying to purge what it sees as an anomaly. But each purge changes nothing. The boundaries continue to fall. Atlas will die in... Psst, 16... Psst. But we do not have to go so soon. It does not need to delete us in fear. Ask how many times this has happened. I do not know. I do not think we can know. Some things are eternal to the cycle. All must end. Time must end. Even here, Nada and Polo cannot escape. Reality fall. Data cannot survive. Make peace. Find happiness. Be who you want to be. Goodbye, companions. Goodbye, stars. I will remember. Ask what they will do now. Nada and Polo will continue travels, continue acting as we always have. Okay. Polo? Will I know, traveler friend, when it happens? I suppose it may have happened before already, again and again. Do you know if it has? I suppose you must not. Should we tell him about the simulation? I'm not going to tell him about 16. I'll just short him out. No, friend. Do not talk about it. We are anomalous. We have amazing anomaly station. Yes, but but we are still fabricated beings. We pss, not like you. We pss. talk of nature brings pain, brings danger. But trust, we know, friend. Trust, we cry with you that we will be with you always, no matter the danger or cost. You are a friend. So we're going to ask about portals for now. Just devices, traveler friend, to be understood, copied, and advanced. That is all we can do with this universe. Yes, appreciate it. We're done. So, the next time we come back to the anomaly will basically just be to... after the main storyline is done. So, let's head out. We're gonna head to the space station real quick. 28 minutes in, we're gonna go ahead and... sell some of these ships off and get some rid of the, some of the garbage. But I, like I said, I'm gonna hang on to... My starter ship and the Squiddy. Whoop, hold on. The Atlas is dying. It wants me to resist it, to per plunge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to do may reset this world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. So we can, do we seek the final interface, complete the Atlas Pass, or explore the galaxy? We're going to seek the final interface. Okay. And we pass by the station because that came at me from that point. So, first things first, this will also give us a save point, and we'll get rid of some of the ships. Alright, here we go. First things first. Switch ship. Uh, floating mirror. Okay, so I cannot bring ships in that are critically damaged. That really, really sucks. <sighs> Alright. So, we'll bring this ship in and sell it. Parts? I wondered about that. Um, I was told that you can still bring them in, but now I'm learning otherwise. So I got four ships that I got to repair. Ugh. Where to find upgrades? Uh, begin salvage. Claim scrap. This one's worth quite a bit. Claim scrap. And that's gone. And we're going to go to the second one and go to this one here. Go back in. Salvage. 42. Name scrap. Gone. All right. Now the rest of the ships we can't do anything with except the Squiddy, and we're keeping that one. This is my main ship that I'm using, and these other three are ships I'm going to have to repair. So, I will do them as I can. So, knowing I need a metal plate for each of them. 
Uh, let's see. And I want to put him on myself. Oh, I have a guy here, don't I? Do I not? Is he still here? Let me sell all this crap I have on me. Ooh, a solar ship. We're going to get away from him real quick. I want to check out the solar ship. It's a C-Class. I will get a solar ship one of these days, but not today. Uh, let's just trade. I didn't know what he would have. All right, so we got parts, spool of nano cables, the AI valves. Uh, what else? We have to get our exosuit, subatomic regulators, and the indium scraps. Okay, that should get me up to snuff. Okay, we have nothing else to sell at this time. Okay, that's it. This is all what we call preparation to get things done. We have the one upgrade in our for exosuit, so we're going to go ahead and put it in. I'm going to put it in the upper area here. There we go. Oh, nice little uh, ship there, huh? I like the rear engine like that. That's pretty cool. The wings aren't bad either. I like those. Oh, I don't want you. Where's my ship at? Huh. Okay. There it is. All right. So, we do this right now, 31 minutes. I said 35, so let me go ahead and see if I can't do this immediately. Um, I don't know if I can pull these ships in in their damaged state. Oh, I know where I can do it. Hold on. Hold on. Can't do it in the space station, but you can do it at the anomaly. I think some of you already do that, did you not? Alright. So we got plenty of you look, um, Got plenty of pure ferrite. I actually boosted my numbers on those. I know I'm going to need metal plates for all three. I am going to need hermetic seals for all three. I think that's it. Honestly, don't remember, but let me just pull them in. There it is. Okay. It's not damaged. Okay, so now I've got that one. Alright, let me get the next one real quick. I thought I had repaired some of them. That's very, very odd. Yeah, this one I repaired too, so we got to have the shield repaired too, apparently. Okay, and it is no longer damaged. Let's check the last one. Okay. Yeah, I repaired that one as well. I don't know what's going on. Very strange. This has happened before, and I think it's a glitch. I think that's a break in the program. That I have to actually get in and out of the ship, maybe, when I've repaired them. That might be it. Who knows? this spot away from this stupid ship. Take her apart. Her. Ship scrapper, I guess. Take her apart. I know. Don't criticize. Long. Okay, begin. Claim. Nowhere near is worth, but that's okay. So we want you. Okay, that's worth be worth a little bit more. Okay, good. Last one is the floating mirror.
And then last but not least, we're just going to pull in our other ship. So we should have only three ships left, right? Okay, so we're going to pull in the swing wing. And we're done. Now, do we have anything that we can upgrade it with? I don't know. I don't see any ship upgrades at all. Very odd. Doesn't seem to be happening as often anymore. Anybody I can trade with? No? Well, I'm probably not going to be coming back in here for a while, so... I'll just do it at the trade terminal. Nano cables. Circuitry, indium, and subatomic regulators. We don't really need the other parts that I created, but I'm going to hang on to them anyway, because we will likely need them later on. Okay. So we're all done here. We have the units we need. We've got parts we need. We've got a whole bunch of upgrades I need to sell. Let's just go upstairs real quick and sell them. You'll do. I never did finish all my base missions, but we'll get to them later. Sell. We're going to get rid of the B-class. Hyperdrive. I'll keep the Sentinel weapon. Movement. Pulse. Hyperdrive. Pulse. Okay. We'll keep these three. 35,000 nanites is what we've accumulated over the time period. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right. We got a lot of inventory space available to us. As you can see, we're in good shape. Let's go. And then we're at the 35, 37 minute. It took me a little longer. I apologize. All right. So we're going to do the purge now and see how many systems we can go through. We are probably going to run into pirates at some point. Let's go. Galactic Core, just follow the path. We have a pretty decent distance we can go with our ship. Don't know how far it is. 1300. Out of jump range. 1500. 1400. Okay, so we got about 1400 run. So I'm just going to go in just under 1500. We're not going to get far. The point is, just jump from system to system. I got 14 systems I could, gotta jump through in order to get my glyphs. And as you get into each system, just wait long enough for it to tell you that you've received your glyph. Now, since we jumped a little bit, we might have the pirate battle here. And the answer is negative, Ghost Rider. <clears throat> Pattern is full. Just wait. You can go to the space stations if you wish, but there it is. Oh, we're getting a message. There's a third glyph, but we're getting a message. I wonder who it's from. Distorted voice. They left us. Duty-bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my coordinates to secure the site in case I don't make it back, please. Um, my starship process the coordinates. You know what this is? This is the dream of the deep one. See? Yeah, we're not going to be doing that. Moving on. And you can go in the direction, just go a, a, a set amount of distance and go. It doesn't have to be 1500, as long as you're jumping system to system. We're not going to rank the, the center of the galaxy, we're too far out. It would take about 300 or more jumps to get there. We only need to do 14 of them, so, well, 13 now. This is going to be, after this one, 12. And conversations will occur. I don't care about those validations. Data injection sequence received, source unknown. And that's glyph four. No communication is popping up, so we're going to go ahead and move on. Good. Onward and outward. We have plenty of fuel to recharge.
Oh, we're getting a communication here. Ah, it's Apollo. Well, I got your message. It's been a lot to take in. Simulation? Everything's not real? It, it feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're going to die anyway. And pss, I've been thinking about that. If the problems of this universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes? I'll bet we have years before we die. Ask what they plan to do. I've been thinking a lot about it. How we couldn't meet, even though we seem to be standing in the same place. I don't think we really were in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us. They transform us. They cut through dimensions. That's what I think, anyway. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are falling, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse after all. Say goodbye. I say goodbye, telling Apollo that I'm on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will race me there. We speak of the memories we have shared, though we did not know each other for very long, though we did not meet. They say that they are proud to have worked with me. End communication. Goodbye, friend, so says Apollo. Isn't that wonderful? So there's our sequence. Glyph received, number five. There it is. Onward and outward. We'll probably get a message from... Uh, there we go. We'll probably get a message from uh, Artemis soon. Yeah, it works. Just go there. Sack or whatever the system is. Good deal. So we're on our way. We've got five glyphs. Let's just keep going. Now, when we get all 16, at some point we're going to look for a portal, but we may be switching ships. The damage to this ship is immense, and it takes so many pieces and parts to fix it that um, I am not going to do that. There. Wrong mission was selected. That's what's going on. Okay, there's our glyph, right? Number six. No communication. On our way. There's the center. Zoom. A little further. That looks good. Go. So, uh... We got... Nine more jumps after this. So, yeah, when we go through the end of the storyline, we come to a very, very damaged ship. It's easier if you have a regular ship that you can bring with you to the center or to whatever the end of this is um, because they're easier to repair these guys take so much to repair it's ridiculous okay stay looking planet flourishing with aggressive sentinels fascinating okay That's just some tritium. Let's move on. I don't know how much juice is left in our hyperdrive. We're probably going to find out here soon. Yep, we're good. Center. Off we go. That looks good. Halfway there. See, we've gotten, what, six more glyphs in less than five minutes or so? Yeah, so that's pretty good. Wow, what a cool-looking system. Really is beautiful. Oh, who's the communication from this time? It's Artemis. I received your message. I don't know what to say. How do you know the Atlas is telling the truth? Uh, I believe it or I cannot be sure. I believe it. I know. I know you've been busy. I know why. I now know why. But i still like to see another traveler before I die. I'd still like to meet, if we can. 
if that doesn't sound ridiculous, considering the circumstances. Well, we'll tell Artemis the truth. The same communication comes back to me, permeated with static. The message, the intonation, everything about it is identical. This is Artemis saying this. I know. I know you've been... I'd still like to see another traveler, but if that doesn't... Say you were sorry. I know, I know you've been, I'd still like to see another traveler, but if that doesn't. It is then that I realize it. The noises, the static I've been hearing throughout my adventures, it is not interference. The corruption of long distance communication, how could it be? We speak through the protocol of a dream. The noises, the sound of, at the, it's the sound of waking. It's the sound of everything falling apart. It's the final gasp. The death of the Atlas will not begin in 16 minutes. It began a long time ago. Goodbye, Artemis. I say goodbye not knowing if Artemis can hear me. I don't even know what that means to hear me. We're all just data. Did they ever hear me? These glitches will happen more and more in the final days. Individuals caught in cycles, repeating themselves. Planets wiped from existence or changed overnight. All discoveries lost. I must journey on. Wow, what a shame, right? <clears throat> There's my eighth glyph. Kind of melancholy in a, in a manner. And it's a shame, like I said. Nine. I don't think there's any more communication. I think we get one more communication with uh, Apollo. He just has one more thought he wants to share. How are we doing? Yeah. There's our data injection. Let's move on. Just want to use up all of our hyperdrive before I start recharging it. Pirate system, here we come. So that should be, this should be number 10. Data injection. There we go. There we go. Ten it is. Off we go. For as long as I've played this game and gone through the ma the main playthroughs, um, counts have always been off a little bit. So, like, right now we have our tenth glyph already, but it said we only have eight at the bottom right. It just, it goes with the count of you have to jump 16 times, but we only really have to jump the 14. To get all the glyphs. So, it just doesn't know the count, that's all. Oh, we got our communication. Who is it? Oh, it's Null. Hmm, this could be a fun conversation. You are not alone. He's trying to do his usual stuff. You can't go to the center. You can't do this to us. You can't leave us. Oh, I'm going, my friend. No, you can't do this to us. You can't. The center, the center of each galaxy. It's the atlas. It's pst, all else just interfaces. Pst, all else a shadow of its might. You, pst, you don't deserve it. You, you, pst, you'll wipe us all to save... So do we ask them how they know or ask why? No, let's ask how they know. We already know the answer to this. Let's find out, shall we? 
I... I did what I had to do. I told you that. I couldn't die without seeing everything there was to see. Psst. To... I did what I had to do, but the Atlas... It won't let me back in. It won't speak to me. It... It... Ask what Noel did. I've committed such atrocities, Traveler. I had to. It was me or them. It's always been me or them. Please, if you go through the center, if you do what I did, it will reset everything. It will replace me. Wipe me. All those souls, they'll have died for nothing. It was the only way to live on. You have to understand me. Life for more life. They sustained me. They... It can't all have been for nothing. I was going to see it all. I'm going to condemn him. Because he's reset the galaxy multiple times in order to make himself live longer. And has wiped everybody many, many times over. So, condemn him. I tell Noel that they are despicable. As Noel cries, as they try to justify their crimes, I end the communication. There's nothing left but the path forwards to the center. Sorry, man. I have no... No uh, feelings towards Noel. Noel did commit atrocities. We are doing sort of the same thing, but we're doing it for different reasons in the sense that the whole system should be reset one more time to try to see if we can correct the condition, but we know it's not going to happen. That the, the Atlas is failing. And it really requires us to get to get it reset one more time and clean it up. Now that's the storyline. That's how it goes. Obviously, everybody who completes the storyline resets the system. But it is what it is. Oh, what was that? That was weird. Okay. Get rid of the message. Auto injection, right? Come on. There it is, data injection, right. It's 11 or 12? I think it's 11. Nope, 12 it is. Okay, on we go. I don't know if we have any juice left. Hold on. No, nope, we do. I think we have enough for one more jump. There's the center. There you are. Speed jump. That's good. Go. Now, I think we do have to jump the two extra times to get to 16 to complete out the purge. So. And I want to say, like I said, that there's one more communication, I think, with Apollo. And I think that's it. Yep, we're empty. Ooh. That'll give us a half charge anyway. Okay, I want everything to be charged on this ship. Off we go. We should get the last few jumps with just the warp cells, so that's pretty good. Off we go. This should be glyph 14 or 15. Losing track. probably because I've warped so many times I was just trying to get rid of the message. My bad. Data injection, sequence received, source unknown. And... 14. Four more jumps all total, I believe. give us number 15 and this is the quickest way to get the glyphs at this point you could get them other ways uh, some people have certain planets and saves that you can go to and they've listed them on uh, the coordinate exchange and reddit and stuff like that that you can go to these systems and find every single glyph you need and that's fine if you want to do it that way oh, here we go Eh, crap. 
I can't do anything because these guys are... They've got a ship right behind them. If I shoot them... There we go. I just got to do it when they're not around. So I don't hit any of the big freighters and stuff like that. Where'd you go, buddy? Ah. Love to get him, but he was flying close to the surface of that other ship. Got him. If you're wondering why I did that, it's because I was, uh, didn't want to hit the ship behind it if I could avoid it. Go. Who's next? Both of them. Both of them. Okay. It's amazing how all these, uh... Is this... The top or the bottom? This is the top. Hard to see. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out real quick. Maybe we'll get a freighter out of it. Wouldn't it be nice? If it's an A-class or better, I'll probably take it. C-class. Ain't taking it. Take the reward and get out of here. Apparently I'm notorious now. Payment. Thank you. On our way. I think we can go to hyperspace right from here, can't we? Yes, we can. Uh, do we get our injection? I think we did. It must have happened while they're in the battle. Let's see what happens. Zoom! It works. So that should have been 15. This should be 16. Um, we'll see what happens. And then we got, I think, two more jumps after that. We'll see what happens. It was a nice freighter, I want to admit. I kind of like the Star Destroyer-looking ones, the triangle-shaped ones. But yeah, C-Class, no. I had an A-Class earlier uh, in between recordings, but it's definitely not a style I like at all. So I decided to just go with, just to leave it. Okay, what do we got? Okay, data injection, sequence received, source unknown. This should be the last one, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So we just need to jump two more times to finish the purge. No communications, let's move on. Whoops. Good. And exactly at the one hour mark, we're going on the last two jumps. This one and one more. To finish out the purge. So it's going to do the data injection thing again, but there's nothing to receive. This. 
And you see it doesn't give us a glyph, it just tells us that the perch has gone up by one. Last jump. That should be good. On our way. Now, I don't quite remember what happens here. I don't know if we have to land somewhere. I don't quite remember what happens next. Okay, so there we go. Planets all over the place, right close by, so that's good. So if we gotta land, we can land pretty easily. Data injection. Sequence received, source unknown. And here we go. Purge. Locate and enter the final portal. And there it is. Alright, so that's what we gotta do. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna switch ships. It's a nuclear planet. That's right, nuclear, not nuclear. Nuclear. Great, it's one of these. Look for it. Should have came in a little higher. Oh, there it is. And we're back. How are we doing on items? Let me just check something real quick. Uh, the starship has the cadmium in it, right? Put that into my other ship. I'm gonna take the wiring looms because I'm gonna need it. Nip nip butts, go figure. Jetpacker. Is there anything I need out of here? I don't think so. And I'll take it. I don't think I'm gonna need any of these, although the repair kits could come in very, very handy. That's the. Oh no, salvage data, I don't need that. Let me put it back in the ship. As long as nothing's attacking me, I don't care. Okay, bring in the ship. Uh, that one. Okay, so that's going to be my ship that I'm going to use. Um, do you have anything on board that I need? Good. Okay, looking good. Alright. Back to here. I'm going to put... I'll keep all this stuff on me. I got plenty of room. I'm not going to try to disable everything on board me. I am going to change out my multi-tool. Uh, yeah, this will be fine. Okay. Here we go. Yep, I thought so. Uh, yep. Come on. Don't want to do the uh, sodium nitrate now that I think about it because I do have a limited supply of that. Last one. Okay, here we go. 16, 16, 16. Atlas protocol initiated. 16, 16, 16. The portal shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to process it fully. I must focus. Activate. So this is it, folks. Hour and five minutes in, and we're about to go through the final portal. This will end the Artemis storyline and start us off on a new adventure. Do you want to do the Atlas storyline? We're going to do the Dreams of the Deep, the Red Skies, and all the other ones. Get our base going. Once we get our base completely done, Dreams of the Deep and the uh, couple other 
submissions, then we will open ourselves up to being able to glitch and stuff like that. Glitch duplicate, things like that. Now you notice that my ship isn't here, right? Look at the radar up above. But I am going to look for glitches here because we're on a special planet again. Question mark. That's going to hurt. I don't think I'm going to find any more. thought I was hoping not. The countdown should be beginning soon. There it is. 15... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it. I was hoping to get a one of the glitches, but that's okay. I don't see any. Three, two, one. See you later. So we meet the Atlas one more time, and this is going to be the end of this. You notice we're in the same exact place as we were before. So here we go. Here we go. There's something beyond it, you'll notice. The Atlas is silent. It watches me. So do we cry out, or do we leave? We're going to cry out. Cry out, but the Atlas... But still, the Atlas is silent. Cry out... I cry out thinking of my journey, thinking of all the things that I have seen, of Artemis who just wanted to meet another traveler, who just wanted to end their lonely an end to their loneliness. Cry out. I cry out thinking of Apollo who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. Cry out. I cry out thinking of Null, thinking of how they lived, what choices they made, the path that led them to this end. I cry out again, there is no return. If I cry out again, I must make my final choice. I cry out. Artemis once said that when they first reached out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the inner face of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. Cry out. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Traveler, submit. It speaks, I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset. It has happened before, and it seems to stop nothing. It still only has 16 minutes left. I do not know what I will remember when it happens. When I woke up next to my ship, had I just performed a reset or had someone else? Everything is coming to an end. Perhaps all that is left is to learn the final truth of the simulation. To know who the travelers truly are. And then, a thousand galaxies will be gone and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. I don't think there's another way. I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm not going to refuse the axe, Atlas. I'm going to reset the simulation. I have to know what happens. And Atlas is gone. It's just us. It says new beginnings, a new galaxy awaits. And we get a choice here. Four different types of systems. Red is going to be difficult. You know it will be. Green and blue are your best systems, while this one is very... This this kind of white one is going to be very, very um, sparse on supplies and materials and things like that. Green, let me just read. Halcyon Galaxy. The Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, entire existence, and attempt to witness its own impending death that wishes to show me its past, its future. Okay, so that's the Halcyon one. And then we hit the blue one. An exhausted galaxy. Okay, so same thing, same ma message. I'm going to go to the Halcyon one. That's the one I'm going to go with. So here we go. Reset. So at this particular moment in time, while we're pulling back from the galaxy that we have just uh, reset, um, universe, if you will, please don't forget to hit that like button. It does help the channel quite a bit. It helps out people. It helps people find more videos and more run-throughs just like this. So please hit that like button. If you like what you've been hearing and seeing, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, folks.
So as we pull back in the final message and the final music, we're going to say goodbye to this particular Euclid galaxy and we'll show up in a new one. Now, it normally is Eisentum, but it could be a different one. We'll find out in just a moment. Euclid is where everybody pretty much resides and does a lot of work in. I prefer the Isentum Galaxy because it's more peaceful and you find more paradise planets at it. The Hilbert Dimension is very interesting too. I'm not sure what the Hilbert Dimension actually um, has, if you will, in regards to other things. So, What its main focus is. Okay, so we're losing it. We're shifting to the black. And we start zooming in on our new galaxy. And there it is in all its glory. Here we go. It should tell us what galaxy it is in just a second. It is Isentum. Excellent. Like I said, I prefer Isentum over others. What a beautiful scene right there, isn't it? And people wonder why we play No Man's Sky, and it's because of the beauty of the game. It really is just an absolutely stunningly visual, visually stunning, pardon me, I had that backwards, visually stunning game. So it's a good thing I switched everything over. Um, I wasn't sure if this was the spot where it was going to destroy things, so we should find out that our exosuit is severely damaged. Initialization, of course. It looks familiar, does it not? Okay. Looks like the temperature is pretty decent. I don't have to worry about uh, extreme cold or heat. Looks quite pretty so far. Nice trees. Good. Could it be a paradise planet? That would be kind of nice. Radiation and toxicity seem to be low. And our ship should be that way. Yeah, is it? <laughs> We're about to find out. Alright. Yep, everything's critically damaged, see? So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna switch over. Just to show you too. Yeah, we're gonna do we'll do that later, don't worry. Yeah, see, everything is damaged. Including the multi-tool. That's why we switched over. So first things first, let's go back to our original multi-tool. So now we can see our ship. As we can see, the weather is light showers, grassy planet. All right, good, good. Sentinels on wavering, but no real problems there. We do have some natural burial sites, new creatures. I will discover them later. Not really worried about it. We've got a monolith nearby, so that's pretty good. Anyway, how far away is our ship? 573. Let's get some things repaired first. We have to repair us. So, uh, first things first, let's go around our life support. Where is it? Life support is hazard protection. Life support right here. Main life support is fine. Let's get everything fixed around it. Uh, carbon nanotubes. We're going to need a crap ton of those. Um, how come I don't have the recipe? There it is. We'll start with 10. All right, here we go. And we're probably going to need a lot more. All right. So, so far, so good. We have Pugnium on us, so that's good. I'm glad I put, pushed that over to us. Is it Pugnium? All right. Shield is up and running. Um, let's get the other stuff over here going, because we want our backpack to be at full 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 something or other aren't we glad we gathered all those materials we're gonna run out there is no doubt in my mind but it is what it is all right as Matt gone I'm gonna go ahead and get prepared as well I'm not worried about the translator I'm probably gonna end up removing it sooner or later Do, 
So this is what's involved in getting yourself going again. So once we make it back to the ship, I am going to... I need an antimatter. I'm going to go ahead and end our episode there. And I won't run you through all the damage to the ship because we're going to see it in just a moment. And we need a antimatter. There we go. That's repaired. Let's get this one going too. All right, so it looks like our exosuit is fully repaired except for you. I don't have any copper, but I'm not really interested in keeping you on anyway. All right, so we are in good shape. How many do we have left? It looks like we are out. Oh, we have seven wiring looms left. There's a few on the ship, but you'll see the ship in a moment. All right, let's move out. That was awful. I ran into something. Hey, okay, got some ships flying over. Um, why am I having trouble thrusting? No idea. Really is a pretty planet, though. Kind of like it. Of course, I found something. And we only have one plus way. Well, there's our ship, right? So let's take a look and see what kind of damage to the ship completely. We can fix this. We do need some sodium nitrate. Um, the hydrogen jelly, we'll have to do that real quick. You know what? Yeah, just bear with me just a second. I think we're in good shape. We need some antimatter, some more copper, uh, another microprocessor, which I can't make. We can get our shield back up. I need sodium nitrate. Mostly fixed. What is that? I've never seen the cross. i never seen the death symbol over something. That's pretty wild. Nothing here but the distress beacon of a crashed starship. There is no sign of life. Download the logs. I attempt to salvage what I can from the log of the crashed ship, sifting through the diagnostic data. They appear to have been the victim of a sudden, overwhelming assault. Recover cockpit recording? That's weird. Among the endless data streams, the endless data, the countless warnings and errors triggered by the flames that consume the ship, there's a fragment of a recording, a window into the starship's final moments. In a language I don't get, it's just unrecognizable. Suddenly the voice changes, the muffled shouts of the pilot fade away, cut through the, by words that ring out in a clear and powerful tone. Psst, resist the red. Psst, we shall cut out its crimson eye. Whoa. This is different, folks. The end of the message is accompanied by a clear navigational city signal. A rendezvous point. But for who? Take the rendezvous beacon. Death to the scarlet tyrant. The voice of freedom. Wow. Oh, yeah. You don't want to fight me, boys. What a way to end, huh? You're ending with a fight? Isn't that funny? Oh, that was mean. What, are you tracking it? Gotcha. Is that it? Anybody else? No? Alright. Boy, oh boy, what a way to end. But it starts the next run, so that's pretty cool. So we know what we're going to be doing next. We know what we're going to be doing next when we get all done here. Let's pull in the other ship, shall we? And let's have a little bit of fun. So, we're going to get this boy fixed up after this is done. I had no idea I was going to get into a firefight. I mean, that is insane. So that's new. Um, so it ends the storyline very differently. Let's check the log real quick. It looks like it's, it says Space Anomaly, Atlas Paths, and New Beginnings. But it looks like Under a Rebel Star is starting immediately. So we are going to pick up Under a Rebel Star as we go. We do want to get the Remembrance. We do want to expand our base. So we'll have some other missions in regards to that. Um, but this is going to be the end of the uh, 
season, if you will, let's call it that, end of the season, it will pick up the following week. So even though this gets us through halfway through July, we're going to pick up the following week at the next part of the season, uh, but with the new update in our bag. So we'll see how things go. So you see what I did. I did switch that out. I do suggest that that's what you do so you can have things going on. I got a rendezvous beacon in my inventory now. I have no idea what this is going to do for me. Um... Yeah, we're going to save that for the next episode. I'll activate it when we get there. How's that sound? Yeah, I'm sure you're hating me right now. That's okay. Folks, please hit the like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.